Drugs decreasing gastric acid secretion. Mucosal protective agents. These are cytoprotective compounds similar to antacids. They prevent mucosal injury and enhance mucosa protection by reducing the inflammation and healing of existing ulcers. Sucralfate. It is a salt of sucrose and administered as a complex of sulfated aluminum hydroxide. When it comes in contact with water or stomach acid, it forms a tenacious paste, which selectively binds to the mucosal erosions and ulcerations. The negatively charged sucrose sulfate binds to positively charged proteins at the site of mucosal erosion and forms a physical barrier for up to six hours at these areas. The physical barrier stimulates prostaglandin production and traps the bicarbonate, which leads to increase in pH range, greater than 7. The enhancing healing of ulcers and repair of injured epithelium by restitution. Sucralfate effectively heals duodenal ulcers and is used in long-term maintenance therapy to prevent their recurrence. It reduces incidence of upper gastrointestinal bleeding in ICU-admitted critically ill patients. They have no role in NSAID-induced ulcers and minimal effect on gastric ulcers. It is not used with PPI or H2 antagonists as it requires acidic medium for its activation. Four times daily of one gram per dose is given empty stomach at least one hour before the meal. Only 1 to 3 percent of the drug is absorbed and the rest is eliminated unchanged in feces. Side effects include constipation due to aluminum and can interfere with the absorption of other drugs. Bismuth compounds. Examples are bismuth subsalicylate and bismuth subcitrate potassium. The exact mechanism of action of these compounds is not clear, but similar to sucralfate. These compounds form a protective layer around the mucosal erosions and ulcers. They stimulate mucus, prostaglandins, and bicarbonate secretion. They inhibit the activity of pepsin and help healing of ulcers. They have good antimicrobial action and is a part of treatment and eradication regimen for Helicobacter pylori infection. They have good oral absorption and are rapidly metabolized and excreted in stools. They are used in the treatment of dyspepsia, heartburn, peptic ulcers, and acute diarrhea. Bismuth subsalicylate is also used in reducing stool's frequency, liquid consistency in acute diarrheal infections such as traveler's diarrhea. Salicylate inhibits production of intestinal prostaglandins and chloride secretion. Side effects include harmless blackening of stools, dark tongue, and rarely cause bismuth toxicity, leading to central nervous system symptoms, like headaches, confusion, seizures, ataxia, or encephalopathy, and salicylate toxicity. Long-term treatment is avoided in patients with renal insufficiency.